What's good YouTube? It's your boy King Jam. I'm coming at you guys with another video today. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how to set up your PlayStation 4 with the PlayStation 4 camera to start broadcasting. In this video, I will be teaching you guys everything that you need to know on how to set up and how to broadcast from your PlayStation 4. I'm going to hop right on into this. If you're new to this channel, make sure you guys hit the like button, retweet this, or share this on any social media platform that you have, and please subscribe to the channel if you Now, so the first thing that you guys want to do, if you have a PlayStation 4 camera, just like I have right here, you wanna go ahead and the first thing that you wanna do is go ahead and hook this up to the back of your PlayStation 4 like so. So, after you have successfully hooked up your PlayStation 4 camera, and again, this is for beginners. This is for people who do not know anything about the PlayStation camera, they don't know anything about broadcasting that, so work with me, this is just for strictly beginners. So the first thing you wanna do after you hit up your PlayStation 4 camera is go to settings, you wanna slide all the way down to where it says sharing and broadcasting. First thing you wanna do is go to audio sharing settings, you wanna click X on everything. This right here allows people to hear people in your party, also be able to hear everything that you say and stuff like that. So once you click all of those on, the next thing you wanna do is go to broadcast setting. Go to advanced setting. And now, I have made a video on this previously. I'm gonna put that link in the description. Go check that out. It's the how to set up the PlayStation 4 camera with the green screen. And you can also use that if you don't have a green screen. Just use the tips and, and things that I said in that tutorial. It will make everything better as far as your stream goes and how your camera set up and everything. So I'm gonna put that in suggested up top and link in the description. Go check that out. And it'll show you how to do everything at this point. And you come back to this video. So next thing that you wanna do is go to the link with other servers. And you want to go click here to YouTube. Once you come up here, it's gonna when you hit X on that to link your YouTube to your PlayStation 4, it's gonna say link your account to YouTube. So you want to just press X on that, it's gonna take you to the website and you want to enter in all your information. So once you guys get inside and you have entered in your email address and you in your password, it's gonna say PlayStation Network would like to access you know your offline assets. So all you want to do is come here and basically press allow. Boom. So once you have everything linked and you have the password and you hit, hit allow, it's going to have your account information right here. It's going to say that your SN account is now linked to your YouTube account. All you want to simply do is press OK. So now your YouTube account is linked up. Now you're probably wondering, well, King J, how do I still stream? Whatever game that you would like to stream, you would just simply click on it. Like, I'm, for instance, I'm gonna go here to Mafia 3. I'm gonna simply press X. Now you can't stream right away because it's still in the loading area. So you have to wait till the game gets to a good point. So I'm gonna show you, for instance, in this video, it, it, you can't do it as soon as you press X. You have to do it like a few seconds after that. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys. So once the games get like right here, you should be able to press the share button. If you look on your controller, it's gonna say share, press that one time. Once you press that one time, you wanna click down one and go to broadcast gameplay. You wanna click X on that. And now this is for YouTube only. So like I said, once you have linked your account, you should be able to come here to this YouTube part and be able to press X on that. It's gonna give you a few tips and everything. You know, you can include your video from PlayStation camera. That's if you got a PlayStation camera, if you don't, once your PlayStation camera on there, simply go up to it, you just press X. There will be no camera up there at all. If you do want it, press X. So again, like I said, I have my display mentions to spectators off because I don't think that's professional in my opinion. Like I said, go look at that video again. It will show you everything that I mean. Now you have your title here. You can title it whatever you want. You know, King J playing Mafia 3. In the description, you can put whatever you feel like, you know, playing Mafia 3, come turn up with me or anything like that. Now, the quality is the most important part here. Now, if you do not have sufficient enough, you know, internet speed, like me, I have 200 megabytes per second, so I can stream at 720, you know, high 60 frames per second. Now, if you don't have that, you know, internet speed, you can go into the PlayStation 4 network settings and test the speed. If you don't, if let's just say you have like 10 megabytes, five megabytes, you need to stream at a lower quality like 360. But if you have like 20, 50 megabytes per second, you, you should be able to do 720 lower standard because that's what I recommend. If you know, if you have slow internet, use a lower quality because I don't want your stream to lag. So your privacy will be public and you can put tags or any additional information that you want to put right here that will make your video go viral. Now I'm going to drop another video tomorrow on how to get more views using the PlayStation 4 camera because PlayStation 4 camera actually sends out more notifications than OBS, that's what I heard. So I'm gonna be dropping a video on how to get more views on PlayStation 4 camera, you guys check that out. 
but like i said this is basically everything that you need to know once you fill out all this information all you have to do is click x on start broadcasting and you'll be broadcasting on the streaming services link that you have linked with the playstation 4 camera so whatever account that you set up and linked it with that's the account that they're gonna link it with and they're gonna stream that on YouTube so you'd be good to go you be able to read the comments as much as you want like I said if you don't have message message spectators on you're gonna have to have the YouTube app on your phone so that way you can read the comments or you can just have it in the stream but like I said I don't like that but if this video helped you out any at all please hit the like button subscribe and share this with your friends because there's a lot of people that don't know how to use any of these things so I just wanted to help you guys out because when I was coming up during YouTube, I did not have anybody to show me anything about this. I had to really play with it, and it messed me up, and I could have had way more subs than I had now. But now I, now I know everything. So, again, and another question that is most frankly frequently asked, you cannot use the any other web camera with PlayStation 4. You have to use the web camera that PlayStation 4 came with, like the uh, web camera that PS4 has, PS4 camera. You gotta use that. You can't use anything else. I don't know why, but that's the way they set it up. But it's your boy King J. More tutorials dropping for PlayStation, you know, camera stuff and you know, streaming, all that stuff will be dropping very, very soon. Please hit that subscribe button if this helped you out at all. Leave a comment down below what you think of the video. It's your boy King J, man, and we're out. Who done it?